Today we're going to look at something new in Rust 1.65, which came out uh, five weeks ago. So we're actually almost on the verge of Rust uh, 1.66. And this is, um, it's pretty simple, uh, pretty simple to use, but uh, the more you talk about it, the, the more interesting it gets. So uh, here it is, it's let else. And let else is, uh, you, you probably know, uh, if let, uh, if let like sum or if let okay, and you, um, then you have these uh, this pattern like if it do, if it does match this then you can like get the value inside of uh, some are okay and if not then you do something else whereas this one is a little bit uh, different which is um, you try to make a you just say let uh, something so like let some value equals uh, whatever the expression is else and you have this diverging code and diverging code is um, the interesting part because diverging code is uh, is this sort of thing. So you've got, uh, you can break, you can return, uh, you can panic. And diverging code is actually based on this trait, which is interesting. It's uh, it's the never trait, and it's got this, uh, this exclamation mark, and it's for um, stuff that never returns. And let's just um, go to VS Code and take a look at uh, why this is interesting. So let's say we have, um, parsed number so we want to parse uh, this into a number so we go parse um, try to make it into an i32 and we have this uh, there you go results uh, i32 or uh, parse error parse int error and so we imagine that um, maybe we uh, we've got a function and we're and we're taking in these uh, these stirs or strings and they might be okay and they might be not so um, the regular way you can you can match, of course, you can go batch and it might be okay or it might be an error, or you can go uh, if let or if let uh, okay num equals parsed number, and then you do a bunch of stuff. So you've got this uh, num and you can print it or whatever. And the interesting part, uh, whoops, not that, just a regular equals. So the interesting part is. Um, is that this uh, in Rust, you are trying to make a let binding, you're not doing a match for equality. So you're not doing that. Like uh, that is made by a partial, the trait partial eek, and it, um, it's, uh, it's, it's different. Whereas here, what you're trying to do is you're trying to um, have this pattern. So parse number is, uh, is what you call a refutable pattern which means uh, it's a pattern that might not work so because it uh, could be this or it could be that. Whereas um, the interesting part is if you say like let, let, let x equals 9, that is also a pattern, but this is uh, irrefutable. So it's, uh, it's a pattern that cannot fail because all you're saying is, um, so here you're saying in, so we have this parse number and if it matches this pattern, then I'm going to do this. Whereas here, you're saying, I have this nine, and if it matches this, but there's no way it can't match because it's just uh, it's just giving a name to something. It's, uh, it's irrefutable. It's like literally looking at anything in the world and saying, I'm going to call this X. It, it's, it's always going to match, no matter what it is. So um, in the same way, um, if you use this new uh, let OK num, equals parsed uh, number, let's get rid of this compiler might complain, then um, hold on, then you go else, there you go. So the difference here is, um, so right away it's complaining that it has to diverge. Um, else clause does not diverge, expected this type, so it's saying that's the that's the never type that I wanted, but it found a unit type. So uh, right now it's not uh, it's not panicking or it's not returning an error. So you can say panic and you can say, dear God, because that's what you say when you have a panic. And then uh, and there we go. So what happens is it's never below this line. You're guaranteed to have a num because uh, if it doesn't work, it's going to go all the way back up to here and it's going well. It's, it's not going. It's going to panic the whole program. But you could also do a. Uh, you could return, um, let's say main is like, uh, I don't know, main has a result, and it's just going to give a string um, if there's a problem. 
we have a problem like that. Uh, make that into a string. And that's going to work too. And also, of course, if, uh, if everything works out, you put an OK, nothing, nothing at the end. So on this line, you're guaranteed to have this, uh, this num here. So that is, um, uh, that's the interesting part. It's kind of like, it's a little bit like the question mark operator. Uh, except for uh, inside this else, of course, you have all this space because uh, if you have um, let um, parse number equals, let's see, how do I want to do this? Let um, successful number equals parsed number, whoop, parsed number, and we're just going to map this uh, error to a string. So you need to string because it's going to uh, have a string um, right here on main. So what this will do is um, it's kind of similar. You can see it's going to have a, it's going to parse it and then we're going to turn it into a string to make it happy here. And then the uh, the question mark operator is going to return it um, early if it, if it doesn't work. Whereas inside this uh, let OK, you have this whole block to do whatever you want. So you can you can do whatever you want. You can say, hey, I want a new struct. You can do that. You can say, I don't know, print new struct. You can, you can do a whole bunch of stuff and then um, go all the way down. And then finally, as long as you are like uh, returning an error or, uh, or panicking or doing a break, then, uh, then it's going to be fine. So uh, yeah, the, definitely the interesting part is um, this, I think this, this let else uh, teaches, um, it helps teach about let bindings themselves. So you can see like uh, let x equals nine. Let's compare the two, let uh, x equals nine. So when you're doing a let binding, we're not doing an if here. So we're saying, okay, here we are making a binding and we are guaranteed to have this. And then here as well, we are making a binding and we're guaranteed to have a num because if we don't, then we're going to uh, run away. And um, the in, the other interesting part is a let binding. It kind of looks like you're pulling it out of the okay, but it's not that so much as you have an okay with something and you want to bind it to a name. So in each case, you're binding it to a name. But uh, in this case, because it doesn't work, uh, it might not work. You have to run away. Whereas if... Uh, if let OK, uh, num equals parsed number, then um, you're inside the scope here. So you can uh, you can do whatever you want. And then the um, and um, so what you, you can say, like, um, you know, else. And then you can uh, put something here and then the types will match. And then you don't need to do a uh, a what's it, a diverging pattern. So, yeah, that's how. Uh, let okay um, let else works, and uh, yeah, I think it's a it's a good way to uh, to show people that uh, let is uh, is like a it makes let binding, and it's not it's not nothing to do with equality, and it's uh, it's a really good way to uh, teach uh, how Rust uh, works as a language.